TaylorMade released the two-piece Distance Plus Ball on the same day as the all-new premium five-piece T5 and T5 X Balls in 2021. The headline here is that these are made for distance and are targeted at those of us who want a few extra yards but, more noticeably, it helps to get the ball airborne for lower swing speeds and they really are good value. Put simply, these are about a third of the price of the company's premium offering and will tick enough boxes to make it a worthwhile investment for many of us. Taylor may say that the Distance Plus offers high-velocity performance for distance on all shots, combining a React Speed Core and High Speed. Low drag aerodynamics, golfers will experience a golf ball designed for speed. That's what they say. But how did it actually perform? The review video goes into this. Get started with the video. I hadn't used a distance ball for years and was pleasantly surprised given that my previous experience of such balls was like playing with a rock where you had no control. Off the tee these were long, no noticeable difference to a premium ball so don't suddenly expect to find an extra 20 yards. But the distance was maybe on a par with a ball that I would normally use which is impressive given how affordable they are. Clubbing wise I was hitting the same clubs as usual but where I really noticed the difference was with the shorter irons. In this area of the game I definitely struggled for height but with the distance plus the ball was coming off the face a lot higher and, given the lack of spin, you were able to stop the ball with a full shot. Around the greens is where it will put some, but not all, players off. If you are a good chipper and rely on getting plenty of spin then this won't appeal. It comes off the face nicely but there is a noticeable lack of grab when you strike one properly. If, like me, your short game is built around hitting chips and runs and putts from everywhere then there really isn't too much of a difference. The sound isn't as nice, it's a bit clicky, but it really depends on what the strengths of your game are and how you want to play them. On the greens it's far easier to offer some feedback with the putter and this was very different from normal. My tendency is to leave absolutely every putt that I hit short and this really wasn't the case here. If you use a non-inserted putter then it's even quicker off the face and it does take quite a bit of getting used to. Again, this might do you a few favors as it might make you get the ball to the hole but there does feel like a lack of control with the putter. There is a plus alignment 8 side stamp on this ball which is there to help you line up your putts. This didn't work for me as I like a single line and don't like too much going on. I also thought it made the ball look a bit cheap but this is all personal preference. It's a great value ball and it will last forever. I used the same ball for 18 holes, hit a variety of trees and poor shots and there were no signs of any wear and tear so, if you could do with a bit of help off the tee and to get the ball airborne, and you don't want to spend too much on balls then this is ideal. That's all for today. We upload sports product review videos every single day, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.